Hi, my name is Mitch Mitchell, and today I'm going to talk about social media and people's mindsets. You know, after reading another one of those articles where somebody was complaining that seeing people happy and showing all these great pictures of their travels and their life on social media, places like Facebook, has been making them depressed, and reading another thing where some psychologist is basically blaming social media for making people feel bad, I thought I needed to say something. You know, we have now become a society where none of us want to be responsible for our own behavior or how we interpret things. And to me, it seems ridiculous that we want to blame people for, my goodness, the good things that happen in their lives. So because I put a picture of a cake on my Facebook page that says that someone threw me a party and I'm happy about it, you're going to be depressed because no one bought you a cake today and threw a party for you? Are you serious about this? Or because I happened to go on a trip and I saw something kind of cool and I took a picture of it and said, hey, look at this cool picture I took. Or maybe it's a picture of me with some of my friends. Okay, I have no friends. But if I had some friends, me and my friends and my arm is around them and we're all smiling, you're now depressed because you're not there or you're not doing some of these things? Really? And that's my fault that I put that up? You know... I have written quite a few blog posts where I said that there are just some people who aren't ready for social media. And I tend to believe that the people who really aren't ready for social media really aren't ready for life in general. You know, life is hard. Life is not always good. Uh, my friend Scott, uh, who's, you know, um, I think Craighead, or whatever, <laughs> I can never remember what we're calling him what day from one day to the other. But he will basically say that, you know, life pretty much does stink. Well, you know what? Overall, Life can be tough. I'm not going to say it stinks because life is better than an alternative if you ask me. But I will say that for people who judge someone else based on the pictures that they're putting up that are all happy and whatever and decide that their life stinks or that those people stink because they're sharing these great pictures, you need to grow up. You need to get over yourself. You need to first understand that you make your own happiness, not anybody else. The second thing you have to recognize is that just because people are putting up happy pictures or, you know, cool pictures of vacation or scenery or whatever, does not necessarily mean that their life is all that great. What it means is they were able to find a moment of joy in what might be a really bad life. And they use that moment of joy to take a picture and to share it with other people and say, hey, look, look at this thing here. Look at this tree that's got red and yellow leaves that seems to be sprouting and looking real cool. Even though my life stinks right now, I can share this beautiful picture because it's made me feel good. You know, we just have to kind of get over this thing of blaming everybody else for everything that happens. Now, is it sometimes someone else's fault? Yes. Bullying happens. And, you know, when you have to address bullying, that's a different story because that's something that someone is actually directing at you. But if no one is directing anything at you and you're getting upset over it, get over it. Stop being jealous. Stop lamenting the life that you don't think you have, that you think someone else has, that they just might not actually have. You know the thing about the grass is always greener on the other side? Well, you know, that, that's really a mental state. The grass is only as green as you determine the grass is in your life. Okay, now it's, it's autumn here. Obviously, it's just November. And my grass is still pretty green, which I'm really stunned about because usually we got a little bit of snow and everything is brown right now. But still, you know, my grass was greener in the summer, but am I sitting there looking out my window saying, oh goodness, my grass isn't as green as it was. I wonder what Larry's grass across the street is doing. No, because we don't sit still waiting for other people to come down to our level. At least we shouldn't. What we need to do is do our own thing. Try to be better than we may think that we are. Or we need to basically look at what other people are doing. Don't get jealous. Don't get mad. But say, wow, isn't that wonderful? I'd like that in my life. And then try to go get it. But if social media is really bothering you that much, get off. Go away. Don't watch any more videos. Which, by the way, if you watch half of them, you'll see that there are a lot of people in pain. Don't go to Facebook anymore because who's sharing all the horrible things in their lives? Think about it this way. If every post you saw on Facebook was a downer moment, how long would you actually stay on there? How long would you follow that person? You wouldn't because no one wants to deal with that kind of depression all the time. So don't go on there. Don't go on LinkedIn. 
because a lot of people have their business profiles and none of those business profiles says I failed at this I failed at this I left this job because it stunk and I was bad at it I was fired at this one no one says that <laughs> how stupid is that sure people sometimes complain on Twitter but most people aren't going around all day long having a real horrible life and if they were who would want to read that I don't want to read that I'm not saying that I necessarily want to read everything that shows that everyone is happy I just want to see a balance. I want to see that people are doing certain things. There are things that people do that I'm never going to do that I'm happy to see. And then there's things that I sit there and I look at and say, you know what, I can do that or I want to try to aim for that. That's more of a healthy mindset than to sit there being all mopey and whatever and blaming everybody else because they're making you feel bad because their lives look all happy and good. You know what, that's just how life is. And if you really can't, identify with that or can't understand that, get off social media. Start watching the Waltons more often <laughs> or Little House on the Prairie. That's what my mom watches. Little House on the Prairie and the Waltons. Why? Because it makes her feel good. She can't handle day-to-day -day life anymore, so she just watches those shows. Do that. Go watch Matlock. I think she likes that too. Or get a life. Build a life. Glory in the fact that people have these moments of happiness and make some of those your moments. That's what I have to say. I'm Mitch Mitchell. Let me know your thoughts. Y'all take care.